Welcome to our tutorial about the Flat Pattern tool. Let's right click on our Flat Pattern, select Edit Feature. Under Parameters, our first option is Fixed Face. The fixed face is the face that doesn't move when the part is flattened. Let's make our selection of a face to fix and click OK. Now let's flatten the part, unflatten. And let's edit again. Let's select a different face to fix. Click OK and flatten. Let's unflatten the part and edit again. The next option is to merge faces. When this option is selected, no lines are shown in the bend region. As you see here. OK, let's edit the feature again and unselect Merge Faces. OK, and now the bend region is represented by lines. Let's unflatten our part. Right click and select Edit Feature. The Simplify option does just what it says. When this option is checked, it simplifies the straight and curved lines in the flat pattern. Let's just zoom in so we can see a bit better. Right here, the curve is cut in the bend. Let's check Simplify Bend. Click OK, flatten the part. As you see, we end up with a straight line right here. Let's uncheck the Simplify Bend option now and click OK. Now we end up with a curved edge. Let's right click and edit again. Another option we've got is corner treatment. When a corner treatment is applied, we end up with a clean, flattened sheet metal part ready for manufacturing. Let's see how it looks. And here's an example of a corner treatment. Let's edit our feature again. Unselect corner treatment option. Now we see how the corner looks in the flattened state. The next option is grain direction. In order to see how this option works, I'm going to place a sketch line on this face. Select the line and just drop it. And let's exit the sketch. Now let's right click, select Edit Grain Direction. We'll select the line we just created and click OK. And let's flatten the part. As you see, this line controls the orientation of the boundary sketch. We can find that down here. Down below is a new folder. It contains Derived Sketch 14. And here's our original sketch. Now when I suppress the flat pattern, the derived sketch gets deleted. In order to see how the next option works, I'm going to create a rib. I'll insert a support plane. It'll be offset by 10 millimeters. Now let's insert a sketch. Right click, insert sketch. Activate the line command. And I'll drop my line about here. Select. Let's exit the sketch. Take an isometric view. Activate the rib tool now. Thickness will be 2 millimeters. Tab key to register and accept. Let's go back to the sheet metal tab. Now when I try to flatten the part, I get an error message. The part contains a feature which can't be unbent. Here we can see our problem. Let's make some edits. Right click, Edit Feature. Faces to exclude. 
and let's make our selection. Right click, select other, and OK. Now we're able to flatten our sheet metal part. This concludes our tutorial about the flat pattern tool.